everybody, it's Scott with QA1. Uh, I'm here with Marshall to talk about our new bleed adjustable piston rod here at PRI 2017. So here we go, here's Marshall. Hey everybody, um, here we have a new bleed adjustable piston rod. We're really excited to debut for 2018. Um, we used to have one of these years ago and we refined the design and now we have a new and improved version that should work really great. So I want to show you a little bit of the features of it. Um, down here on the rod and bearing mount you have a clicker wheel. It has a de detents to it and you can adjust how many clicks of rebound or compression adjustment you have. Up to 32 different clicks. Um, what's unique about our design is we have a patent pending needle design which gives a real linear bleed adjustment effect. So you have 30 thousandths bleed total over 32 clicks, so each click is going to be about one thou of adjustment. So what that means is with the shock on the car, you reach down, turn the dial, click, click, now you adjust your bleed, you might be able to fine tune your car and your handling just a little bit more. On the other end here, the piston is held on a little bit differently than a typical QA1 shock. It's more of a bolt design, which makes room for our adjustable mechanism. So inside here, we have a bleed needle. There's an O-ring that goes into that groove there. Um, this is unique also because the bleed needle screws into the seat. And then there's a little look at the you know, profile of the needle there. Like I said, patent pending design there. Screws in, and then inside the shock here, it's a gun drilled uh, piston rod. You can see it's hollow on the inside. We unscrewed the bearing mount. And inside here is a push rod. Zinc plated steel uh, rather than aluminum. So as the shock warms up to temperature, it won't close off your bleed or affect your bleed in any way. So all this minus a piston should retail for around $75. Should be ready in uh, January, February, or March. So Marshall, one question people might have is, uh, so what, uh, what shocks will this uh, adjustable piston rod work for? Right. So the nice thing is it'll work in any large body QA1 bearing mount shock. So whether that's a 51 series, 26 series, uh, any, any length, 5 inch all the way up through 9 inch. So it can adjust uh, compression, rebound, and... Yep, you have the ability to adjust whether it does rebound or compression mm -hmm. or both simultaneously. Cool. So most dirt track guys will want to do a rebound like on the right front, compression on the left rear. Asphalt drivers will want to do rebound both fronts, probably the left rear as well. So it's a really user-friendly, affordable, rebound adjustable option. So now you can buy a $150 QA1 shock, $75 rebound adjustable option. So for $225, you have a high-quality rebound adjustable shock. Great. All right, everybody, that's it. Uh, stay tuned for more coverage from PRI 2017.